What's going on, everybody? Welcome to What's going on, everybody? It's your man Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you watch my content, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, I gotta say, once I think I did one of the worst stories, you know, another one is uh, yet to come. Uh, guys, I'm gonna um, do a story about this lady right here. Um, her name is Shatavia Walls. <laughs> I want to say you ain't going to believe what happened to her, but then again, you know, the world that we live in is probably not surprising. It's probably not going to be surprising to some of you or what you are about to hear what happened to this woman. So let me give you the meat and potatoes what happened to this woman. Uh, Shatavia Walls was 33 years old. Now the story reads, what you're going to hear in a minute, that this woman was shot and killed because she was telling people to stop setting off illegal fireworks. Let me repeat that again. She was shot and killed, according to the story, for telling people, which were probably uh, Negroes, to stop popping illegal fireworks. Wow. But then again, you got people talking about, hey, we need to police our own community. Really? Mm, okay. Uh, but... Don't let me do all the talking right now. Let me let y'all hear this for yourself. Uh, so, where is it? Uh, let me uh, exit that out real quick and uh, let me bring you up. Hey, listen for listen for yourself. Mother is mourning her daughter, whom she believes was killed for simply asking people to stop setting off illegal fireworks. It happened in an area plagued by gun violence that only seems to be getting worse. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more. Candles sit in the courtyard of East New York's pink houses, where 33-year-old Chatavia Walls was shot on July 7th, but sadly died 10 days later. On a nearby bench Monday, we met her mother, reflecting and mourning. She asked we hide her identity as her daughter's killer is still out there. My daughter was a, a helping person, always wanted to help everybody. Explaining that's exactly what her daughter was doing here earlier this month. Asking somebody to stop lighting the fireworks because the kids was in the park. They was asked politely. She says days later, as Walls and a friend were leaving the Linden Boulevard building after a visit, they were gunned down. According to police sources, it's believed Walls was the intended target. A 30-year-old man was also shot but survived. And it happened out here, the people from out here. Police sources say they're not ruling out the possibility this was gang-related, pointing out there's a gang issue at this housing complex. Also saying there's no indication the victim had any involvement in a rival gang, and the motive appears to be strictly based on an earlier confrontation over fireworks. Here in the 75th precinct, in a 28-day stretch up till July 12th, there were 24 shooting victims compared to five during the same period last year. We're told the NYPD has moved resources here with more cops on high visibility posts and a new violent crimes unit. While police address a problem, Wall's mother didn't seem confident there would be a solution. She, among others we spoke to, feel violence where they live will never stop, but too afraid to speak out, setting up a memorial, mourning a life lost, and wondering when will enough be enough. People here wouldn't say much on camera, but it's clear from those we spoke to off camera, along with candles and notes, that she was well loved and will be missed. In East New York, Brooklyn, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. People won't say much to the camera. Well, I guess in this situation, I'll have to understand why they won't, because uh, if you say that the neighborhood is bad as you claim that it is, and it's gang related, then yeah, you probably ain't gonna find too many people that's gonna speak on this situation. And not only this situation, but on uh, any situation, period. You just ain't gonna find too many people that's gonna uh, speak on it, at least uh, from my opinion. That's what I give. The reason ain't a lot of people ain't gonna speak on it. So let me get this straight. Uh, we got a lot of black people that say, you know, um, 
we want people to be straight up with us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, tell us when we fucking up, you know, this, that, and third. Well, if that was the case, then, like, I posted on Facebook about this woman. Was she being straight up or telling these fools, you know, stop popping flowers because it was illegal? She was telling you to stop doing something that can get y'all in trouble. But y'all know how this stuff goes. A lot of niggas, you can't tell them nothing. You can't tell them anything. A lot of people, you can't tell them shit. All right? And a lot of people like to find out stuff the hard way versus then, you know, hey, doing things the easy way. But then you claim how the police always fuck with y'all and the police just looking to arrest y'all. But yet you doing things like this that you're not supposed to do. And somebody trying to tell you right, you get into an altercation about it. And now this woman life is gone. And I only day they say somebody else was with her and he ended up getting shot, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna read the, art the article to you in a minute, all right? But again, I did the video about the young man who was with the girls who dropped the girl and uh, kicked the baby or whatnot. There was a lot of people, ne the Negroes, was coming in the comment section saying that the young man needs to be off. He needs to be killed. I jumped in and say, hey, I don't think he needs to be killed over this. You know, I think he needs to be taught a lesson. But to get killed, I think that's a little overkill to say that's what needs to happen to him or happen to them girls or not. And again, I try to stress, express that I was frustrated with the video too, but I'm not going to advocate for them to get killed because of that happened. And you had niggas coming at me for saying that. Yeah, had one saying I was defending thugs. Oh, uh, you got one telling me, shut the fuck up with my nun talking ass, some shit like that. Yeah, had one coming at me like that. Um, and it was the niggas just coming at me sideways for doing that video. You understand? I was just like, you know, but these are the same Negroes who be out there protesting talking about Black Lives Matter. Well, the question had to be asked again. Does it really matter? You can't even tell niggas to stop popping fireworks when they, when they ain't supposed to be popping them. Can you really say that lives does matter? I'm just saying. And, and you know, and the surprising thing about that, them videos I did about that situation, about the young man that jump kicked the girl, it was the women this time that was being more sensible than niggas. I don't remember not now female, black or white, came in their comment section to say that that young man need to be killed. Which is kind of shocking because I would think they would probably be one of the main ones that's ready to advocate that the young man need to be killed. But it wasn't the female, so we can't blame it on the female this time. One now one of us are advocating for the man to get killed. Or they weren't even advocating for the young teenagers, the teenage girls to get killed. It was the niggas. And then one comment came in, but I gotta understand. Dude said, uh, sorry bro, but uh, with black people, this is the only language they understand. Violence. Them going to jail don't scare them no more. Them doing life in prison don't scare them no more. Hell, a lot of them who on death row, it don't scare them anymore. This is the only language that they understand. And I had to tell that brother, you know what? You got a damn good point. You got a damn good point. So I brought that up to say this right here. What I'm bringing up right here. So all you niggas who was coming to me about that young boy. Talk about he need to be killed. How you feel about what happened to this woman right here? She's a black woman. And she was telling niggas what to do was right. She was telling them what to do was right to keep their ass out of trouble. But she loses her life over some damn fireworks. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Anyway, I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna read another article because uh, I think the other article goes into a little deep detail. It says a Brooklyn mother is mourning the loss of her daughter who she believed was killed for simply asking people to stop setting off illegal fireworks. It happened in an area riddled with gun violence that only seems to be getting worse uh, CBS2's Gina DeAngelis reported Monday. Candles in the courtyard of East New York, pink houses where 33 year old Satavia Walls was shot on July the 7th. Sadly, she died 10 days later. 
On a nearby bench Monday, DeAngelis met her mother who was reflected and mourning. She asked that CBS2 hide her identity because of her daughter's killer is still out there. She goes on to say that my daughter was helping, was a helper person. Always wanted to help everybody, the mother said. She went on to explain that's exactly what her daughter was doing earlier that month. It started over some fireworks, asking somebody to stop lighting fireworks because the kids was in the park. Wow, then you had kids around. She was trying to tell you, hey, you know, stop this because you got kids around. Hmm. They was asked politely, the mother said. She says day later, as Walls and friend were leaving the Linden Boulevard building after a visit, they were gunned down. According to police sources, it's believed Walls was the intended target. A 30-year-old man was also shot, but he survived. It happened out here. It's people from out here, the mother said. Police sources say they are not ruling out the possibility this was gang-related, pointing out there is a gang issue in the housing complex, adding there is no indication the victim had any involvement in a rival gang and that the motor appears to be strictly based on earlier confrontation over fireworks. The end just reported. Wow. Wow. And it goes on to say for the thing, but what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description box. Now let me put up this other article that I read. And this came from Crime Online. And this one was dated for July the 19th. And something in here had caught my attention. And here it is right here. And I will also post this link if y'all want it. It says Shatavia Walls was shot eight times at around 8.30 on July the 7th. And the companion, Kevin Hernandez, was also hit by the gunfire. Let me repeat that. This lady was hit eight times on July the 7th. And the person who was with them, he was hit. Uh, based on this from Crime Online, this was posted July the 19th. And the one I just read to y'all was posted yesterday. It was posted yesterday. So again, shot eight times over some damn fireworks. Because the woman said, stop popping fireworks. But I get ridiculed for saying certain stuff during these shows. And even with this, I'm not gonna advocate no violence. You know what I'm saying? These dudes need to be killed. But then again, with this one, now with this one, y'all was saying that, then I guess I can understand it in a sense, you know, because this is stupid. This was senseless. Just like that video doing that young man. That was stupid. That was senseless. You know? And the crazy thing about this story is because uh, I was just telling my dad the other day, uh, matter of fact, the 4th of July weekend, I was just telling him this. When Juneteenth hit down here in my neighborhood, these people over in this neighborhood was popping fireworks from that day on to up the 4th of July. And even after the 4th of July, they were still popping fireworks. Now, in this surrounding area, they were still popping fireworks. Now, the shit didn't really bother me any. Because, you know, I'm used to that ever since I've grown up. People be popping fireworks way after the 4th of July. So it really didn't bother me, you know. But according to what this story was saying, she was doing this because of the children. She wanted safety for the children. And look what happened because she wants safety for the children. But again, we protest all the time. They protest all the time by Black Lives Matter. They protested all the time. And it seems like the more y'all protested, the more we losing Black Lives. So uh, is they, are they really this important? And I had a few men come at me about that too. You know, why why, why you bringing up Black Lives Matter? Well, ma'am, you go down there and come in list of both of them videos, you're going to hear a lot of people asking where Black Lives Matter at. And I, for one, agree with them. Where are they? 
Where's the protest for this woman? That's what I want to know. What's the protest for this woman? I mean, excuse me, where's the protest for this woman? Man, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Wow. So, uh, rest in peace, Sir Tavia. Uh, damn. Wow, man. It let you know, man, people still killing motherfuckers over here at anything. But I suppose trust y'all niggas to police my community? Nah, because y'all can't get along long enough to police the motherfucker. I'm, I'm forever keep saying that, y'all. We can't get along enough to police our own neighborhood. If we killing motherfuckers over some stupid ass shit like this, ain't no way in here anybody should trust anybody to uh, police their own neighborhood. You may not like it, but it is what it is. But anyway, though, as always... What y'all think about this? Your comments and, uh, you know, hey, hey. man, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching the 